Greetings, hunters. Normally, I release kill compilations for each prestige, but for P36, we did something a little bit different. I ran one of the most meta loadouts you could possibly have, Mosin Dolch, for the entire prestige. Not only did I do this, but I lost more than half my games. Stick around, and we'll talk about why and how this all went down. This experiment was to test the state of Hunt Showdown's current economy given some of the changes in update 1.15. About three quarters of the way through the prestige, however, Crytek released update 1.16 and rebalanced a bit of the economic changes present in the previous update. Nevertheless, I continued the experiment. Everyone has run into it before, a team of headsmen or canes with Mosin Spitzer and Dolch Precisions. It's frustrating and you feel helpless with your crossbow and Nagant Silence Pistol. But Lately, it seemed like every single game had at least one team fully equipped with these sweaty and brutal weapons. Something wasn't feeling quite right as I skipped and hopped through the swamps, hearing the distant echo of Spitzer ammo firing away in almost every single server. I had to put the economy to the test. How could everyone afford these awesome and powerful weapons? They couldn't all be rich P100 no-lifers, right? For my experiment, I used a few analytics to help paint the picture of what it would take to make it through an entire prestige being able to afford Mose and Dolch every round. I don't consider myself to be an amazing player, but I can handle myself in a fight and have several hundred hours in hunt. Some of the factors I considered were, was it a pre-made team or a randoms game? Was it single bounty or double bounty wins? How much money did I receive at certain levels from Bloodline? And there are a few other statistics that I considered, but we'll get to that in just a moment. I also made a point of playing mostly like I normally would, pushing every gunshot, fight, or bounty within reason. There was in fact two times in which it was do or die. If I had lost the game, the experiment would have ended and I would have hit flat broke. But very luckily, I made it through both of those matches and came out with a bounty. Did the experiment have an influence on how I played or behaved? Yes, of course, a little bit, but for the most part, I tried my best to stick to my normal style of aggressive play. So, here's a breakdown of what it took to make it through the prestige fully loaded with Mosin Dolch every game. I'm not going to spend a lot of time talking about these numbers, but I will post them and mention them one by one as we go through. So during the prestige, we had 18 wins. Wins being any time we extracted with a bounty, and 23 losses. This also included two draw games in which we extracted without a bounty or team wipe. Of these games, 11 of those were with random matchmaking, and 30 were with a pre-made team of friends. The wins were made up of 4 double bounty extractions and 14 single bounty extracts. The Mosin Dolch kit, depending on my tools, cost a bare minimum of 1,205 hunt dollars. My total earnings from bounties and in-game cash alone was $21,463. There are also a few items via Dark Tribute and Unlocks that I sold to help sustain the experiment. On top of that, at certain Bloodline levels, for example, level 11, 34, and 67, we received $3,000, which without, I probably would not have been able to afford to continue. Not to mention, from level 67 onward, there are several small cash rewards for leveling up as well. At the end of the Prestige, upon hitting Bloodline rank 100, I still had $8,200 left over as well as a few Dolches stored in my arsenal, meaning I would have been able to further play using the meta loadout. All in all, it was a very fun experiment and I managed to shamefully hit 6 star a few times throughout. I'm not sure if any of this information serves much other than some statistics to ponder on in the current economic state of Hunt. I hope you enjoyed watching the video as much as I did making it and providing some insightful content based on statistics and raw data. Here's some kills and moments from throughout the prestige and please leave a like or comment because it helps a small little channel like mine here on YouTube a ton. Thanks so much for watching. People coming across the, the one on the bridge. Your spidey senses are. I'm not sure if you got the res or not. There might be two. 
Oh, no, I'm, going, I'm pushing with my, my build. Uh, I don't see it. On me, on me. Not watching. Yeah, there is. I mean, he died four times, right? Yep. Watch out. Good one. Nice. Over that side. They haven't moved. I mean, I'm, I'm pretty sure that this other team... Oh, yeah, I see the other team. I see the guy. He's on the rock. Nice. I'm pretty sure they're gonna get him up though. I still see the body, but I'm super exposed. Yeah, don't worry about holding it too I'm too much. This tree. From the other team or from bounty team? Other team? I think I redone him the third time. I mean, we had that white shirt and we had the guy that was still at lock base, so I think those two are a part of that team. One's on the top center. Ooh, ow! Ouchie. There's another one back here. Hit him. Nice! Oh, I am so glad I saw that person. <laughs> that was crazy. I just killed that guy for the fourth time. Careful, he might. He's right there. Nice. Nice. I think I got lucky. Yeah, no problem. He got real lucky. Nice. They're dying. Nice. Nice. Oh. 
the fuck? Marco Carbine. Nice. nice. What? What a shot. I got headshot of course. I'm gonna drop down so I don't block you. Nice! I got him. Nice. Two bees, what the fuck? Nice. Nice shot. Oh, they res the guy from here. Report. Nice. Ten thousand grunts over here. Nice. No, I did not. Oh yeah, people. Shit. Nice. Good. Nice. Alright, I'm gonna stop. Nice. Oh. Ah, damn it. Nice. I'm just looting to get my. Uh, There's two bodies. There's two people. One, last one's here. Last one's around. Oh, wow. She's, he's already back? What the hell? Ah, nice try. Ooh! <laughs> <laughs>